so it was a late start today but i am out again and we are still on a mission to find a hat so that's what we're doing uh interestingly enough um there has been a typhoon warning that there will be, there will be a typhoon hitting hong kong in the next few days so right now we're at t1 which is just like there's one coming but it's not here yet and i was told that when it gets to about t3 then i should just head back to the hotel because i think like t4 or t5 is when the weather's like the wind is so so powerful that it can like lift a person off the floor and i do not want to be outside when a wind is doing that so uh, for today going to uh find a nail place to go to we're not going to get distracted by shopping and we're going to find that hat and this afternoon we're going to go rock climbing so that's pretty cool um yeah let's go okay so i've just stopped at a restaurant um i'm trying to find this place called pika pika nails i'm in the right place but it's in like a giant building it's like a big building and there's loads of like office spaces in it but there's like nine different ways to get into the building and i've been to all of nine of the entrances and i cannot find the one that has like the business address on it so i'm stressing out a bit so i decided to have some like eat some food instead while I'm gonna give them a call and hopefully they can tell me which one to go into. <laughs> so I really need to get my nails done. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this food instead. recommend this place enough it's called 88 and it is on Wellington Street in Central so so nice in there I got down they sat me down and like my phone when I asked for the Wi-Fi she brought out this little like a uh, phone dock she charged my phone for me tea coffee magazine sweet snacks it was amazing and like she helped me choose my color and she was really really nice so any of you ladies who ever go to Hong Kong looking for a really nice place it's a little bit pricey but I think for the service that you get and like the nails that I've got because they're really really nice like I would pay that again so I'm quite happy with that um, and now no thank you um, and now I am rushing to get back to the hotel because the typhoon warning has gone up to a level two and when it gets up to level three it's it's going down so uh right now it was raining it stopped raining now it's spitting a little bit but it's got really really humid which means like the air is kind of thick so i imagine it's gonna like it's gonna hit soon so i'm rushing now to get back to the hotel and uh so we can just get room service and uh and chill in the hotel wait for this all to blow over and hopefully everything will be fine hopefully <laughs> So I'm back at the hotel and right now we are on a T3 typhoon warning. So what they started to do is put all the sandbags out at the entrance and the exits of all the hotels and all the shops and stuff. So everyone's kind of just inside right now. It hasn't actually started raining yet, but it's got very, very windy. And um, yeah, it's got like really, really humid. Like the air is like you can slice it. That's how thick it is. So. That's it, so I guess I will see you guys tomorrow or in the next video, whichever I decide, because I haven't decided yet. And um, yeah, see you later. Bye. Good morning guys, so today as I suspected the Typhoon Hato or Tropical Cy Cyclone is what they're calling it has hit Hong Kong and um, 
it means that we cannot go outside for the well for at least the next couple of hours it is due to like properly properly hit um at around 11 o'clock and it is about eight now um outside is super rainy and you can hear the wind and we're up on the 21st floor and it's just it's loud it's like rumbling outside not one person is on the streets and then there's maybe like two cars and for hong kong that is like that's ridiculous there's always at least a thousand cars on the street and at least a, like a million people so the fact that there is not even one person on the street is saying something um the warning yesterday uh when it was just drizzling went from t1 to t3 in about a couple of hours it is right now t8 which means if you go outside you're basically going to fly the wind will take you off your feet and into the air so that is why nobody is outside because we're right near the bay where the water is you can see uh like right now i don't know how well you'll be able to see because um it goes from like lots of visibility to no well to no visibility but right now the water on the bay is just the waves are really high and is very full and then there's actually a really good chance that it might actually flood over and then come in and flood the city and seeing as we're right by the bay it, there is a big chance that uh we won't even be able to go downstairs because there'll be water everywhere so um a little bit worried but not like too worried this is hong kong they have cyclones all the time so they're more than prepared for it um i guess it's just us um us tourists just watching everything happen like what so uh, i'll show you what it looks like now I don't know how well you can see, but it's it's raining. So I'm gonna zoom right in on the water. And hopefully. Yeah, look at that. Something that was nice and calm. You've got these big waves. And see, this is actually like quite good visibility. About five minutes before this, it was just you couldn't see anything and if you look up at the clouds they're just rolling in and they're coming in fast as well like that one's coming in very fast oh my gosh Whoa. look at it go in case you were wondering, that is not a jacuzzi. That is not a jacuzzi pool. That is the weather doing that. <laughs> okay, so we are still stuck in the hotel. It is really, it looks really, really blustery here. Um, and I think we're at T10 now, which is basically the highest that the, um, that the scale goes to t10 is the highest you go outside and you're gonna fly and you're gonna get hit in the face by a flying tree but don't take my word for it i don't know but my correspondent downstairs will be able to give you a full report on today's weather craftpreneur over to you this is the craftpreneur reporting live from the middle of typhoon hato Thanks for that craftpreneur be safe out there don't blow away anyway back to our regularly scheduled vlogging so the trees out in the street have basically fallen over and the staff at the door have to hold the door so that they don't bust open hold on hold on hold on <laughs> it is like seriously windy the tree out the front is dead it is gone it has been uprooted the little ones are doing okay those palm trees aren't faring well either it's madness the wind is insane it's over 200 miles an hour crazy Hong Kong 
it's very very humid so I'm gonna have to keep wiping the screen but we have decided to go out for dinner and it looks like everybody else in the city has also decided to do the same thing so we're gonna go and get some Japanese food and uh, hopefully the humidity will go down a little bit and I won't have to keep wiping the lips Like we're having a dream like a dream sequence with the hazing around the camera it looks like we're having some sort of dream sequence where I'm yeah, like <laughs> I love it I kind of like it I kind of like it Sea urchin. I have never tried sea urchin all of my life. So I'm going to. You want to have a little look at that? Oh, yeah. Sam's <laughs> face. Okay. okay, here we go. I'm just going to go all in. Whole, whole thing. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, you liked it? It's good, eh? Mm -hmm. It was too slimy. It was too slimy. The taste was really good. But every time I tried to swallow, it was like really slimy. Maybe next time. <laughs> I ate everything else. <laughs> which if you didn't know is quite notorious for being quite a seedy place but also has some of the best Indian restaurants. We're not going for food but we are going to go and check it out. So um, yeah, here we go, here we go. 